going to try the how to simplify the take up the double square root. You can first write down this way, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to use uh, this expression, okay? You first uh, take out the like uh, skeletal on the left hand side. How? By squaring it? Yes, square both sides, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you square both sides, then the left hand side becomes? 61 minus 28, mm -hmm. radical 3, right? How about this one? If you square A plus B, square of C. A squared plus. Yes, A squared plus. D. 2AB, square of C. C. And then middle B term. squared C. B squared and C, right? Mm -hmm. So you can understand that this part is. It's 61. And negative 28. Negative 20, uh, yes. Yeah, this a one and this C. C equals to C, right? So I just uh, try this one, okay? Mm -hmm. If C equals 3, that time 61 must be A squared plus 3 B square, square. right? And uh, 2AB must be negative 28, right? Because this is oh, positive, but this one is negative 1. So AB must be negative. 14. 14, which means that one of them must be negative number, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, you will scare that. You don't care about that, one, okay? Mm -hmm. So you just uh, try to any factor of the 14. Sure, you can what substitute. Is yes, 2, okay. 7, right? Mm -hmm. Or 7, 2, right? Mm -hmm. 2 possible because... Wait, won't you do like A equals negative 14 over B? Yes, know? that was also possible, but... Uh, you know the 14 square, right? Mm -hmm. What is the 14 square? 1, 14, 3, 7. 1, 9, 6. Oh, squ sorry. Square, <laughs> yeah, right? One, nine, so this one is uh, only just a 61. So yes. any case, uh, 14 is not possible. Mm -hmm. So you just try this one. OK, what is your opinion? I think you have to use uh, yes, 7 for A before 2, right? Because yeah, like if you scare, uh, yes, because of that we just check that. Yeah. We oh, just come from if a is seven forty nine plus three times two squared is four, eight. right? This is twelve, right? Oh, forty nine. Why did I thought it was eight? Mm, no, b is two. Yeah, two. Two squared is four. Fourteen three is twelve. Twelve plus is sixty-one. Yes, this is a sixty-one, right? So, A equals, A equals 2, but you have to decide which one is positive, which one is negative, mm -hmm. which one is positive. It doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, you just first write down it, uh, because it pro A times B is negative 14, mm -hmm. which means that there are two possible things. I mean, this is positive, this is negative, right? Mm -hmm. This pair, or A equals negative 7. B equals 2, right? Mm -hmm. You just write down that. This case, that one is A, my, I'm sorry, 7 minus 2 radical 3, right? Yeah. A, how about this case? Negative 7 mm -hmm. plus 2 radical 3. Which one is that? Uh, the second one. Why second one? Since it's plus b, no, okay. No, 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 no. Oh, this, <laughs> this is actually since it has to be squared. That time you have to consider this one. This number is positive, right? Yeah. Skeleton of the positive number also mm -hmm. passed, right? Which means that this is positive, right? Yes. When you scale both sides, you also get the, like a negative possible mm -hmm. This is negative. This is positive, right? Okay, so A has to be like plus 7. Yes, yeah, so this one is the answer, okay? Mm -hmm. Next time, I'm going to use the like uh, other color. <laughs> <laughs> like this one. Okay. okay. I want to retry the, this one without the, like that expression. 61 minus, what is it, 28? Square root of the 3. Okay, to take up the double the outside scale, the, this part must be perfect scale point, right? Mm -hmm. But it contains uh, radical three things, right? 
but that time you have to know the perfect square trinomial. You know what I'm saying? Like a plus b, a minus b, it doesn't matter, but in this case a minus b. What is a minus b holding squared? a squared. a squared. plus minus b squared. plus, no, plus, plus b, b squared, squared and 2ab, like this one, okay? Our idea is like this one. We are going to rewrite this one, this part. Mm -hmm. And other part is negative 2 times, like this one, a squared, b squared. I'm sorry. A, B is the uh, square root of the A square B square, right? Understand me? And then A square plus B square. Even though I just use A square B square, but you can say A plus B minus 2 square root A, B, right? I just Oh, A square is yes. capital. Yes, I'm B. sorry. This is not, there is no square root. Ah, uh, why, why, why? Sorry. <laughs> So which means... Uh, this is the same thing. Yes, we are going to rewrite this one, and then we are going to try to find this capital A, capital B. Okay. Sum is this part, product is this part, okay? okay. But uh, this is uh, 20 A, mm -hmm. so we are going to use only 2, okay? What if it's not divisible by 2? Oh, it's at that time, I would just want to use the, like other example, okay? Uh, okay. <coughs> then we can do So it this one is, yes, so 2 times... Negative. Oh, uh, you, you just yeah, ignore yeah. this negative sign. So okay. instead of the 40, you're going to use a skeleton, okay? So which means that this one is a skeleton of 61 Negative minus 2, two. skeleton of what? 14 squared times 3. Is it correct? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to rewrite this one. How? Product is this one, sum is this number. Uh, Understand me? But at uh, that time, I don't want to multiply it. So this one, 14 squared times 3, that number is a little bit big. Mm -hmm. Because our goal is we're going to find only two numbers, right? Mm -hmm. So 14 squared times 3 is like what? 2 times 7, whole thing squared, right? Mm -hmm. And then 3, right? Plus 3. Times, uh, three. times 3. So which means 2 squared, mm -hmm. 3 times 7 squared, right? Mm -hmm. Using the those factors, you need to find the two numbers, two factors. Whose sum is? 61. I think this one. What is it? This one? This is 12. 12. How about this one? 49. 49. Yes, yeah, so this number is. Oh, uh, so it's the same thing, but you're just trying to make it easier. To yes. Make, since it's 14 square. Uh, yes. Because so our goal is uh, not the evaluation, okay? Mm -hmm. Our goal but is. But you can uh, still find it yeah, out yes. by multiplying that and 196 times 3. Yeah. So which so means that this one is like what? 49 mm -hmm. plus 12 minus 2 square root of what? 49 times 12, which means that this is uh, like this one, right? So basically inside the part is this one, square root of, this capital mm -hmm. A means the square root of A, right? Mm -hmm. This one means the square root of B, right? A is 49. What? I thought it mean A squared. Yeah, A squared equals low A squared equals A, which means... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, this A stands for, sorry about that. This A stands for square root of A. This B stands for, no, A squared equals capital A, which means A equals the square root of capital A, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, right. A squared equals capital A, right? Mm -hmm. Which means A equals square root of A, right? Mm -hmm. This is capital B. B equals square root of what? B. We found that this is 49, this is what? 12. So this one is square root of the 49 minus square root of 12 whole thing square. So you just uh, take out uh, this square root. So the answer is? Four, seven. So square root of the 49 minus square root of the 12, right? Yeah. This one is a 7. Minus this one into two. Eight. Kind of the this one is kind of the coincidence. Since answer. you don't really need to know this, we just need to know A and B. That's why you just look yeah, at that yeah. one. Okay. Even the though I just uh, use a lot of the letters. Uh, that, uh, I know the thing is one part I was confused mm. was this. Yes, I know that. Right. <coughs> you just asking me the like if the. That part is not, I mean, like this one, skeleton of 
I just want to don't solve the data, but the data how to control the, like that, how to make it, okay? Like 3 minus skeleton of, okay, let me check that. Okay, this is another example. I said when we simplify that, I mean take out the double skeleton, outside the skeleton, so that time we have to make like what? Inside about the something skeleton. To be something skeleton, we need two skeletons, something, right? We need it two, right? But in this case, there is what? No two, right? Mm -hmm. That um, how can you take up to this one? Idea is like this one. How can you make the this one equal two? Mm -hmm. That time, you can consider this is over one, okay? Like this, way. and then multiply by two here, and multiply by two here. Okay. That time, this one is what? Yeah. This is a 2, this is a 6 okay. minus a 2 radical 5, okay? Mm -hmm. That time using the this number and the this number. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't care about the, like a denominator. This is a skeleton, this one, right? Mm -hmm. This one is a 6 minus 2 radical 5, right? Mm -hmm. You just uh, try to find the two numbers. So this is going to be the sum, that's going to product. So yes, sum is a 6, the product is 5. What are those numbers? Hmm? Yes! Okay. <laughs> so the answer is like this one inside for you. I just write that. This one radical five minus radical one squared. You check it. If you scale this one, radical five squared is five, right? Mm -hmm. Radical one squared is one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can get this one. Minus two times product of the radical five and one. But this I'm why did you make it a three? It depends on the this sign. Oh. Okay? So the answer is like what the denominator radical two, mm -hmm. top is radical five minus one. You can take out. Oh, one is the same thing. So yes. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> oh my God. And then you need a rationalizing denominator. Okay, understand? You know that, right? Yeah. Uh, usually for the yes. this type of the fractional form, denominator must be what? Easy. Just a rational number, mm -hmm. so you just multiply radical 2, so it becomes 2, this one is radical 10, minus radical 2. Mm -hmm. Original problem is like what? Skeleton of 3 minus radical 5 is equal to like this one. This is the simplest form. Yes. Oh. Skeleton of 3.5 plus skeleton of 10. How can you simplify this one? As I said before, this case, there is no 2 here. How can you make it? You just uh, multiply. multiply by 2, bottom, and top, okay? Mm -hmm. So this one becomes 7, right? Mm -hmm. This is a 2 skeleton of the 10, right? Mm -hmm. You can first uh, split the skeleton for the bottom and the top, right? Mm -hmm. And then I said to simplify this one, you need to find the two numbers. Mm -hmm. Whose product is? This 10. Mm -hmm. Whose sum is? This 7. Two and five. Yes, so you can write down this way. Skeleton of this 7 plus 2 radical 10 must be something scalar. What are those two things? Three. You said radical mm -hmm. 5 plus and radical two. 2. And then over skeleton to 2. Mm -hmm. How come from them? You just get a radical 5 plus radical 2 scalar. Mm -hmm. Radical 5 scalar is 5. Mm -hmm. Radical 2 scalar is? Two, mm -hmm. so you will get this seven, mm -hmm. and then if you multiply this one radical ten, but you have to twice, right? Mm -hmm. So you will get the two radical ten. This one means, how can you understand the perfect scale triangle? Okay, using the data you can take out the skeleton thing if the, it is double skeleton. So the answer is, bottom is the skeleton of the two, mm -hmm. top is the skeleton five, five plus the skeleton of the two. two. Okay, if no, this is in minus, that, then you have to consider order, okay? okay. Uh, and what then do you mean by minus? Okay, if this is minus, oh, okay. yes, this is minus, that, then this is minus, but okay. the assumptions write down the radical 2 minus radical 5, no way. Radical 2 minus radical 5 is never in number, okay? So this one is, this bottom is radical 2, right? So this is 10, and this is just a 2. Mm -hmm. This one? becomes like this one. Even though it looks like a little bit complicated. Can but you that simplify that? Or no? no, that's it. Okay. Okay? Mm 